Okay, we're gonna try this again. Uh, I was starting this up just a second ago and having some technical difficulties, so hopefully no more of those. Um, so I am just hoping to start sort of a new series here. I'm, I'm uh, working on sort of transitioning some of these videos into a YouTube channel, and I thought it might be fun uh, to maybe make some of these at least a little educational. Um, so for anyone that doesn't already know, I imagine many of you might already know that uh, just because I've mentioned it many times in my previous posts, but I've only been painting for about eight months, so since August of 2020. Um, so a lot of my style um, has been developed by trial and error. Um, I actually got my first canvas and paints from my grandmother for my birthday last year, and uh, they sat in a corner for about six months before I finally actually pulled them out and, and started using them. Um, so because she knew it was, it was really just sort of a hobby or um, just wanted to kind of tinker around with it, she um, just got me some, some real uh, cheap um, uh, canvases to, to kind of play around with just in a value pack. So I'll, I'll maybe start there. I'll show you the canvases that um, I used to, to use and then what I progressed up to at this point. Um, what I hope to accomplish with these videos over time is to uh, show you various aspects of my painting process. So tonight we'll be discussing the types of canvases I use. Um, other nights I might uh, discuss the paints I use, uh, the brushes, um, painting techniques, those sorts of things. And of course, anything you guys uh, think might be interesting, I'd be happy to discuss as well. So um, just uh, either DM me or uh, shoot a message here in the chat um, and uh, I'll try to include that in a future video. So what we have here, I'll show you, I'll pull this out. I've shown this in the past, but this is actually my first painting. Um, I like to joke around and, and uh, make people guess which way is right side up, upside down. Uh, this is the correct way. Um, this is just some clouds that I did from from uh, out in our backyard. Um, I still actually like the colors a lot. I don't I don't know what level of quality the clouds I would say are, but for first painting I was pretty pretty pleased. I enjoyed it, and this is really what kind of sparked my uh, passion um, going forward from there. But you can see here in the back. Uh, it's pretty thin. It's a half an inch thick, um, which is fine. Uh, the quality of the wood is okay. Um, it's it's uh, not necessarily the most sturdy. Um, you can see it's back stapled. So these canvases, um, I get all of my supplies at Dick Blick, which I think is a really great supplier. I grew up in Illinois. Um, Dick Blick is from Galesburg, uh, which is really close to where I grew up in the Quad Cities. Or Moline to be more specific. So I'm kind of partial to, to their supplies, although I'm sure you can get uh, good canvases from um, other suppliers as well. Um, but so this back staple is, is nice. Um, some people prefer back staple uh, just because you can actually tighten the canvas up. Um, you can remove the staples, tighten the canvas back up um, in the future. What uh, I don't really like about it, and I shouldn't even say I don't like it, I just, it's not my preference is when you get um, similar canvas here, this is maybe just a little bit better quality um, as far as durability goes, the wood's a little bit better on the inside, uh, you end up with these flaps here. And what I don't like is just the, the side profile. Uh, it's maybe being a little bit nitpicky, but um, I just, after looking at enough of them, you, you can see how it kind of overlaps there um, from the front view on some of them. And I just didn't really like that, so I ended up going away from that and uh, opted for, instead of um, a back stapled, I do what's called a splined. So you can see maybe in here, I'll try to get this close for you guys. Obviously, there's these little staples here, um, but nothing along here. And what it is is you actually have a rubber gasket that runs along through here, so it's actually holding everything in real nice and tight. From the side profile, it's real smooth. It looks really good. It looks really good from the side. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, if somebody were to hang this up on the wall, it might stick out from the wall a little bit. Again, going back to that 
uh, that last one, if you were to hang this up, um, one, it's hard to, to get something in here with all that hanging off. And uh, again, hanging it from the side, it just might not look that great. So a lot of times these with the back stapling, um, people will put these in floating frames because they're not so worried about the side profile. So people that like to hang it just with the, um, the edge exposed, they'll use the, the splined um, with the nice profile on the side. Uh, so uh, difference in pricing here, this is um, again one of the um, smaller half inch thick back stapled it doesn't have the flaps in the back uh, but this is um, about a two dollar canvas this is an 11 by 14 um, so it's not super durable but you can get these for quite cheap um, so it's uh, you know all in for for a small canvas like that you're not going to spend tons and tons if you just want to start painting kind of um, for leisure these uh, this is a 12 by 16 canvas with the nice profile and the real solid um, pine wood on the back um, these usually will run about $12 a canvas and of course the bigger the canvas the more expensive it is to to get the canvas itself um, so I just thought I'd show you an, an unpackaged one here uh, again I like to go to Dick Blick to get all of my materials um, but they have them really nicely packaged uh, so that way it doesn't get dinged up or anything and I can say Dick Blick is really good about if there's any sort of damage with their products they'll they'll take care of you um, just got to find a store nearby I should say I, I do not have any sort of um, deal with Dick Blick on that I just am real partial to them um, so these are all cotton canvases um, you can also uh, look at getting um, linen canvases those are good for uh, if you'd like to lay the paint on real thick um, i have not used them but that's what i've read up on again this is all just me figuring this out over the last eight months of painting um, what i prefer what works for me some of my canvases i put um, quite a bit of paint on them and i haven't noticed any issues um, with the canvases holding up with with a heavier amount of paint so i'm not sure exactly how much paint um, you'd have to put on to really make a big difference and and need to get those linen canvas canvases but um, so far I haven't had any issues I'll show you one painting I have right now I'm just gonna pop around here that I feel like I put a pretty thick amount of paint on and it seems to be holding up just fine um, this is my most recent painting I don't know if I'll really be able to show too much the texture um, but this is all palette knife it's pretty thick on there so um, I for me this is about as thick as I've really gone with with the uh, the paint and again this is just a cotton canvas and it seems to have held up pretty nicely so um, that's really what I've learned about the canvases uh, so far I hope that that's helpful for you guys anybody out there that's interested or thinking about um, picking up painting um, again, I'm hoping to next week I might talk about the paints that I use, um, what I've learned about those in the last eight months. Um, again, if anyone has any ideas for topics they'd like me to cover in the future, um, just uh, shoot me a, a message or um, all my contact information is on my website at mugeneart.com. Um, but thanks for joining me and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening.